Hi, it's me, Jeff, the SP Spaz, um, back with another Ask Jeff Thursday. And uh, this week's question comes from uh, comments on one of my previous videos um, about uh, the MBTI letters. Um, and this person asked, uh, do you seriously believe that a type in one system is not the same as that type in the other system? For example, MBTI ESFP equals SEE and Socionics. Okay, that's a good question. Um, and in general, the answer to that is no. Uh, it, not necessarily, because when, as soon as you're using different systems, then you've got different criteria. So there are some correlations, and the strongest ones I've found have been in uh, between Myers-Briggs types and Kersey's four temperaments. Uh, and obviously, you know, Kersey saw those two as he, you know, incorporated the two systems together in his book, Please Understand Me. Um, by the time he got to his book, Brains and Careers, he had basically stopped using the Myers-Briggs letters and was just using his own terminology. But he did still believe that they were correlated and said so in, in the book. But basically, from there on out, uh, to avoid any kind of confusion or, you know, legal issues or whatever the reasons, he stopped uh, using the Myers-Briggs letters, which, as I said in the previous video, um, you know, for to err on the side of caution, that's probably a good thing. I do still use those um, Myers-Briggs uh, type letters and Kersey temperaments somewhat interchangeably because I do believe they so strongly associate with each other. But um, when I did that video, I fully expected there'd be somebody who would tell me that, um, you know, I was doing the very thing I was criticizing by by using those terms um, interchangeably. And I was fully prepared to accept that criticism and say they had a point. Uh, but as it turns out, nobody even really said that. So instead, um, this particular uh, guy uh, you know, went on a long thing about uh, socionics, but um, because he felt like what I was saying earlier was somehow diss on socionics, and it, it really wasn't. Um, I have not found... I have not related to most of the socionics things I've read. They seem foreign to me. And I use that word advisably because socionics was a system that was developed in Russia. And I think that culturally, a lot of the things that their profiles refer to are not something that I relate to. And it just may be as, as simple as I'm an American who doesn't relate to the Russian culture. Um, because a lot of things in that... Um, you know, in the profiles I've read, uh, just don't seem to ring true with people that I've encountered in my life. And when I, and I don't just mean in person, because I've obviously spoken to a lot of people online as well, and I just haven't formed those same um, impressions of people. So um, Kersey's and Myers's descriptions of the way people operate and the types and categories of people just seem to make a lot more sense to me. Um, that it's not at all uh, it's not either a thing. It's not a discussion either of like, um, you know, one system is superior when it comes to being closer to Carl Jung's ideas or anything, again, into the weeds of the functions. Because as I said before, I prefer not to even spend a lot of time in doing that. So I'm certainly not going to, you know, go into some long breakdown of um, how those things differ, even if I fully understood it. Um but the person did, you know, ask me if I'd studied any socionics, and I have some, you know, and I, as I replied to him in the in the comment, um, I have, uh, and I'm sorry, I keep saying him. I don't actually know if it's him or her that uh, that uh, I was referring to from the name, but the um, it hasn't been my focus. But I have taught, and some other people know Ben um, that I've, you know, been on his channel. He's been on mine, and we've talked about, it, and he kind of came from that framework. So that's you know, like biggest source of knowledge when it comes to socionic stuff that differs from just random websites people refer me to. Because the general like stuff on the websites is what I'm talking to, talking about, you know, the things that have had a lot of confusing stuff and a lot of things like trying to do visual things, like say certain types are more likely to like have a certain body shape or things like that. That kind of stuff is not rung true to me and, and tends to sort of make the system lose credibility when that's what the focus is on. Um, I, I mentioned before in previous videos, people that focus on things like which direction people's eyes are moving and things like that and try to come up with them. Um, somehow they think they can figure out what brain functions people are using from, from those sort of things. 
And I'm not going to say that there is no benefit to studying someone visually in terms of mannerisms and, and things like that. Obviously, you know, I advocate Kersey's system, and he even talked about hand gestures um, that tend to be used by, you know, certain temperaments more than others. So I'm obviously not going to say that that kind of thing is completely useless, but I think someone basing their entire system of categorization on it in, in a way where they're trying to relate it to personality types is, is dubious at best. Um, but in terms of types across systems, um, I think it, to me, it's really obvious that, that, that yes, you would not necessarily know that those are going to be the same because again, the criteria are different. Anytime you have different criteria, um, you are going to end up with different definitions of things and thus you're, they're not going to exactly fit each other. Um, and the reason that I've said that I can see the correlation and um, just as David Kersey did with um, the four temperaments and the 16 types uh, with Myers-Briggs is because when he's connecting those two, he is using the same criteria in terms of the actual uh, preferences. You know, he's matching, you know, like sort of interweaving those things together in terms of how the preferences fit, how the temperaments are grouped. The temperaments are really just groupings of those same things within those preferences. So um, just because the, like the, the lines that he divided on were not necessarily the same ones Myers did, you know, Myers talked about like NTs and STs or, you know, or, um, you know, yeah, like in, in, in NTs versus STs, NFs versus SFs in terms of how she divided them. But those divisions are just a different way of like slicing the pie in terms of it's not a different pie. Whereas something like, say, Enneagram, you know, has like nine types and then a bunch of subtypes within that that's obviously not the same pie. It's a different, it's a different delicious dessert altogether. <laughs> so you can't take that and be like, oh, you know, because someone is a type seven in Enneagram and an ESFP, like me, for instance, uh, that means all ESFPs are type sevens or all type sevens are ESFPs. That's obviously not the case if you know anything about those two systems. So why would you assume with any systems that they're automatically the same. Socionics is derived from a different thing. Yes, they did. Socionics and Myers-Briggs both came from Jung in terms of their base, but that doesn't mean that they didn't deviate. And most like socionics proponents like to point out the deviations because they kind of have this thing where they say socionics is like the superior understanding of Jung's work as opposed to Isabel Myers. So why would you automatically assume that, you know, a socionics type is going to be exactly the same as a Myers-Briggs type. Um, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and that's why what I was talking about was using the proper terminology. If you're going to be talking about socionics, use socionics terms, use their type codes. Don't conflate it with the Myers-Briggs type codes because then you're just confusing people. You're talking about two different things and trying to act like they're just exactly the same thing. Hopefully I gave a good enough explanation for why I will interchange Kersey's temperament names with Myers, you know, letter groupings and why that's just sort of a shorthand for uh, convenience sake, but for, for understanding sake. And if you want to debate me and say that those things don't, you know, that they don't correlate the way that I'm saying, that's fine. You know, you can tell me that and I'd be happy to discuss it with you. Um, but I think that it's pretty obvious that the reason why um, when you when you start from different criteria, when you don't, when you're not looking at the same factors, um, that you would not end up with exactly correlating types. And one of the things I've noticed about both socionics advocates and a lot of the sort of other Jungian system advocates, the ones that dis Myers Briggs but try to but use their letters anyway and still try to talk about some other system of Jungian functions one thing that seems to be the same with those two groups of people um, is they want to, uh, you know, claim this sort of superiority and um, they want to um, try to convince people that, you know, they've got the uh, superior system and that their, you know, system is so much more important or whatever than, you know, and, and their criteria is like starting with, um, you know, it, it, the, 
it's the symmetry thing. It's like they talk, they talk about function models and or type relations where they always have, they, they want to have this sort of like box or square or whatever, you know, thing where these things line up, you know, and, and so it's like everybody, you know, can be put in the, one of these boxes that go this way and this way. And they just really love those things. And so that's part of the problem because sometimes those things like line up with the, the lines in the box and fit across the system. And sometimes they don't. And then if you say, okay, well, well why don't those things match up in, in say, you know, like Ben and I have talked about like socionics, um, the, the type, and I'm, Sorry, I'm going to forget what the three-letter code is because I really don't spend that much time studying socionics. But the one that a lot of people would correlate with um, ISTP uh, and ISTJ, as well as uh, the ones for ISFP and ISFJ, um, that they're the, the socionics types are sort of like hybrids between those two, but they don't they don't like exactly line up with it. And if that's the case with those then you can't say, well, it's just this type is that type. You know, if there are those differences, you know, if you want to explore those differences, great, you know, talk about that. But don't try to convince me that, you know, oh, well, those differences, you can just sort of sweep them under the rug and just pretend that they, those things line up with each other. And then start telling, like, go into Myers-Briggs groups and say, um, oh, well, because the socionics uh, type that we say lines up with an ISFP does the following things. Well, that means Myers-Briggs ISFPs do because we're just going to, like, put that on them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, it, it's another one of those things where you come to a like theoretical conclusion and then fit it to reality rather than observing reality and forming a theory based on. It. And that's the, the problem is that backwards thing. And my question is like, I was just watching today uh, because I was interviewed on someone else's channel. Um, I'll try to remember to uh, put the link to that interview here, but he was, um, trying, you know, the interview was great and everything. I talked about myself and, you know, he asked me some questions and that was cool. I appreciate his invitation, but um, he referred to things in the comments of, of this system called objective personality. And uh, I asked him, you know, God, cause I'm unfamiliar with the terms. Can you tell me, uh, you know, where do I find what this means? And so I, he gave me a link and I started watching the first video where he talked about it. and already like, you know, five minutes in or so I'm thinking, why, why, why do we need another new type system when there's already like so much we can do with what we already have? And I'm like, that's the thing is I know there are some people that are prone to always wanting to create something new or wanting to sort of take something and branch it out in different directions. And I'm not saying that, that inherently is a bad thing. All I'm saying is, um, correlating it with the types across systems is if you are going to use this other system, you know, I personally don't have a, I don't feel a need. I don't, I'm not sitting here going, Oh, we need a new system that does what, because there's already probably too many, in my opinion, we definitely don't need, you know, need a new personality system. There's already too many of them. Uh, it reminds, like I remember back in the early days of the internet. Yes, kids. Uh, you know, I was, I was back in, in, in those days. I'm old enough that, uh, you know, not the, not, you know, somebody's going to argue with me and be pedantic and say like the internet's existed since the sixties or whatever, technically, but the early days of the World Wide web and people actually having enough things connected together that there was any real, you know, connection across things where people weren't in like military or education or um, early nineties was when my brother was showing me like the World Wide web and stuff. Anyway, in that era, <laughs> uh, somewhere around that there was this, there was this thing floating around called the geek code which was something that people would put at the end of their messages um, where it would like sort of associate, you know, certain things that were associated with kind of geeky things like um, sci-fi and fantasy type things. And, and they had like whatever their, their place in those systems, like what their Star Trek, you know, whether they're a Star Trek fan or Star Wars or other thing. And there was like certain like letter abbreviations or, or, or characters that denoted these things that they would put like at the end of their messages and they would say what the geek code was. Well, when I see a lot of type things where somebody is like, I'm a ISTP seven wing six, uh, four, five, nine, um, you know, socionics, whatever, like they just put all that like in one line on this, you know, and I'm just like, it reminds me of the geek code because it's just this long string of stuff. And I'm kind of like, I'd like to consolidate things more than like have all these things. And I know, I know somebody's thinking, 
But you just said you can't you know, bring the correlate. If you're going to have these different systems, then it's going to have to be this long string. That I'm just saying I'm not interested in that. I'm not saying it's inaccurate. So that's what that's what I'm saying is is accuracy is more important than you know um, space. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my my general again answer to the question is. Uh, no, a type is not necessarily the same across different systems. It depends on what makes up the system. If you are using the same criteria, then it doesn't matter which terms you use. If I say, if I'm using the same criteria to come to the conclusion someone is an artisan or an SP, if I'm using those terms interchangeably, but meaning the same thing with both, then that's where they correlate. If I'm, and then if I, there's other terms I could use. Some people call that temperament the improviser. Or, you know, you can you get, assign it a color and say those are the orange types or, you know, those kind of things where if you're still forming the same criteria, you can change the words and still mean the same thing. But as soon as you start saying, you know, if, if my criteria on who was an artisan was a sensation seeking type personality, as soon as you say, well, my criteria is um, they like to eat sushi. So I'm going to call them artisans or SPs like that's not the same criteria. So no, you can't say the sushi type is the same because you didn't use the same criteria to arrive at. It seems like a no brainer to me, but maybe maybe it's not. So hopefully this explained why I don't believe that to be true um, to anyone who cares. Uh, so if you have a question for Ask Jeff Thursday or you know just want to comment on this video, please leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. Like this video. Share it with everybody who needs to know that a type is not necessarily a type is a type across everything. And uh, again, please comment. Give me the feedback. Let me know what you like and don't like. And uh, ask your questions and make your comments. And, and uh, we'll see you in the next exciting video.